Oh my lord, I'm gonna go jerk off into my toilet. Yes. Hey, they call me Sonic for a reason, don't they? Wait, what? You like that? What? You like that? Wait, what? You like what? R-E-S-P-E-C-T Are you struggling to win on FIFA because your team is really bad? This team fucking sucks! Do you need coins for a cheeky new team? I need it! You can head over to u7buy.com for cheap, fast and reliable coins and if you use code McShell, you'll get a 5% discount. Alright boys and girls, so today's an interesting one, okay? You're looking at the screen right now, right? You're seeing this, you're seeing this showdown stuff, and I really like uh, this, this from EA. I really like the showdown, like, SBCs. I think they're very cool and new, and, and actually you get interesting cards and stuff. The two we're looking at here, boys and girls, we've got this Kleiber card, who looks absolutely phenomenal, and you've got this Malon card, okay? And obviously these two teams are going to play each other, uh, and obviously whoever gets the win will get a better card, and if they draw, they both get upgraded. What's great about this showdown is I think both teams are really, really close in their league, okay? I'm pretty sure both of them are like, I think, I, 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 I might be wrong on this, but I think PSV have like 33 points, and I think Ajax have 34 points, so that who wins this? I am actually, I have no idea. But again, what's best about this showdown thing is both cards are very good already. Like, even if, like, one of them doesn't get upgraded, I still think that he's, you know, Malin still looks good and Kleiber still looks good. You know, if, if it doesn't really matter uh, if they don't win or not. I, I see this as an absolute win. Not to mention the SBC itself is pretty reasonably priced, okay? They're not too expensive. They're, you know, they're not cheap or anything, you know, with the current market at the minute, but they're not too expensive. I think they're, they're pretty fair with an 84 rated squad and only 60 chemistry required that's pretty reasonable but anyway lads we'll talk about them in a bit more detail in a second but before we do that just quickly want to talk to you guys about one football so i'm sure you guys know what one football is by now lads but it's basically an app that covers everything football when it comes to league tables statistics yes yeah hello it covers statistics covers news articles literally everything football you can think of it's completely free of course okay so you don't have to spend a single penny downloading it and it helps you keep up with the world of football okay there's so much stuff going on in football right now with so many crazy results left and right and you guys get to keep on top of that you can check out your rivals teams see how they're doing in the league and stuff like that and you, you can make fun of them and then the next week they win back-to-back -back games and you're like well can't really bully them anymore well that's annoying <laughs> i'm looking at you arsenal it just helps you keep up to date with what's going on in football okay and there's a lot going on right now so it's definitely the best time to download one football not to mention you can keep on top of any transfer rumors and transfer updates and stuff like that link in the description lads give it a download if you're interested but anyway lads we've built a bit of a cheeky team today okay i'm not going to use my usual team today i've built something completely different just just completely randomness going on and a couple of players i want to try out and stuff back line is very interesting to say the least we've got vidic who obviously mainly here for the chemistry uh, but obviously solid as hell we got Kimpembe who I actually I, I don't know if I like him I used him in the objective video lads and I'm not sure if I like him uh, I, I liked aspects of him but I, I just couldn't quite I couldn't figure out whether I really liked him or not so I wanted to try him today right back we've got a boy Kleiber I think that's how you pronounce his name Kleiber uh, again looks incredible we'll dive into his in games in a second we got Robin here who you know it's, it's, it's fucking Robin I mean that's half the reason you want to do these cards is to potentially get some nice green links to him midfield's pretty interesting lads obviously we've got Verón but also this Rodriguez card. I, I noticed him and I thought, you know what, boys? What a cheeky little card that is, okay? He goes for about 20,000 coins, which is an absolute steal. Uh, and he's just got really, really nice stats for a CDM. It's so beautiful. And Sinier's here. We've got his red card a little while ago from the 86 upgrade pack. But he obviously gets our, our little link here to a mobile. And we've got our boy, Malin. Another thing that I'm going to be doing today, boys and girls, I am going to be playing a 4 triple 2 uh, It's a formation I've not used this year. And I thought I'd give it a try. So these two are going to be playing CDMs. Uh, these two will be playing cams. And these two will play up front. Anyway, let's. Let's very quickly dive into the in-games of these cards. Six foot tall, lads, high medium work rates, three soft skill is two star weak foot. The two star weak foot might be a problem. He is right footed though at least, so that there is that. He's got 92 pace, which is amazing. And obviously if you're currently using Dumfries, let's say to get this Robin into a team, then obviously the pace upgrade here is, you know, it's definitely a reason to get him instead of Dumfries. Dribbling is pretty good. It's not the best, but it's definitely far from bad here. But defensively, lads, this card is phenomenal. Okay, 85 defensive, 
fourth edge of staff. Obviously, there. So you've got 85 defensive awareness, which is a mental for a right back. Okay, that's really, really nice. And then 87 standing tackle. Yo, let's have sex now. And of course, physically. I don't even want to talk about that. That's just that's just disgusting. Then we come over to Malin, lads, and a pretty interesting card, okay? This is more of the, the of the sweaty variety, okay? This isn't gonna be a card for everyone, but I really liked Malin last year, so I felt like I had to try him. Three star weak foot, I'd say, them is the most disappointing part of the card. If you had four star weak foot, then that would have been amazing. The pace is probably the best part of the card. You know, 95 pace is absolutely filth. Shooting stats here are okay. They're not the best, but I think if he does get an upgrade, then obviously these are gonna go up by quite a bit, so that hopefully like if I'm hoping for an upgrade, I, I'm hoping for it to be on Malin, to be honest. But at the very least, he does have very, very high-end finishing. Dribbling here is pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's definitely far from bad. Really good agility, of course. In-game dribbling is good there. And then physically, it's pretty nice, too. You've also got outside of foot trait and flare trait. So overall, it's a great card. Like, it's, a, it's a pretty good card. And again, for only an 84-rated squad, I think it's pretty reasonable. But let's, we'll jump into a little bit of gameplay with these two. Hopefully, they're good, you know, because I spent quite a bit of money on them all together. Uh, separately, they're not too expensive, but together. Cost me a little bit money so let's let's jump to game number one right, Kyber already called into action I'm gonna slide in lovely little slide that beautiful tackle come on no, no, oh, that's so stupid. I wasn't trying to pass. I'm, I'm changing out of four triple two, boys. It, I've, I've, we're already 22 minutes in, but I can already see this being a fucking shit show. Back to the four one two one two. I don't know why. Why, why am I trying new things? Like EA doesn't like that. Play. Play now. It's got to be, lads. It's got to be. It's brilliant. It's brilliant from Immobile. Come on, what an equaliser that was. Phenomenal. Very nice. Wait, I want to. Brilliant pass. Chiro! No! How? Oh, that's BS, man! Just wait. Malin, make a run. Come on. Brilliant pass. Brilliant touch. No, get it! Why are you not? Daniel inside. Good ball to Daniel. Go on, Donny. Go on, Donny. Finesse. No, this guy. Who is it? It's Edwin. Edwin van der Sar. His Why is he so broken in every FIFA, man? It's ridiculous. Good ball. Kleiber. Go on, lad. Show the pace. Show the pace in physical. Bully him. Come on. Punch him in the face. Super save that was. Please, make, give me an option. Malin's done so well. It's got to be. You're not saving that one, Edwin. You're not saving that one. What a goal from fucking Malin. Let's go. Brilliant performance there, boys. I deserve to win that by loads of goals. I don't know how we only narrowly managed to win it, but Daniel Malin with a brilliant winner. Come on, lads. So, so deserved. Overall, boys and girls, a fantastic performance, all right? Every single player on the pitch, I'm proud of. They were absolutely brilliant, especially, and I'm going to say these few players. Malin with the winner, of course, gets a shout. Kleiber was solid as hell, okay? He made some really, really nice tackles. That early one where he made that slide was really, really nice, and just overall was very, very solid at right back. The guy I'm giving the most props to, right? This lad right here, R. Rodriguez, Ricardo Rodriguez, I believe is his name. What a performance he had. Does so he was making like 20 tackles that game. He was he was pivotal in that in that game. As soon as I switched into 4 one 2 one 2 got out of that 4 triple 2 bullshit. I don't know why I did that. As soon as I get to a formation that I'm comfortable in, team team performed amazingly well. So hopefully lads can get more of the same in game number two. Hopefully Kleiber and Emma Malin can keep performing well. So let's just jump into game number one. Silly daddy. We have coming up for you is a division rivals match. Alan playing back. Veron, it's got to be. My, oh, he's moved his goal. It doesn't matter. It, it, it doesn't matter because it's Veron. I, I don't know why I thought that Veron was going to miss it because he moved his goalie. But we all know the bald head does not miss. He never misses. It's not in his. It's not in his DNA to miss. Good ball in. Chiro. There's no way. How has that not gone in? 
I think that was Kleiber as well. What are you doing, mate? That's the like open net. My disappointment is immeasurable. Kleiber in a bit of space. Trying to make up for the earlier miss. He's done well, to be fair. Back to Malin. Malin's got to be. Oh, it's brilliant. It literally is brilliant. This Malin is giving me so many Future Stars Malin vibes right now. Like, he's just so OP. Oh, I love him. I fucking love him. Shit. Oh, he's missed it. Oh, my God. I've gotten away with murder. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Oh my god, is that Rodriguez again? Rodriguez is absolutely phenomenal. He is world class. Win that, please. Of, of all the goals. I, like, literally, this guy could have scored the last two goals and I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have blinked. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have batted an eyelid. And then that goes in. What is my goalie on? Fucking crack. Fucking hell. It was coming. It, I mean, I was getting away with it, boys, but it was coming. I just, I don't know, man. I just, I go to you know what? I'm thinking I'm in control. Like, it's just, this is the sweat. The div two sweats are at it again. Mate, dust yourself down, sort your life out. What's the matter with you? Pass, Robin. Oh, what a back hill that is. Come on! That was brilliant from the bald headed lad linking up again. You, you love to see it. Wide open there. Just where the fuck? I, just, oh, I don't know, boys. I don't know anymore. I just want to win. Like, if I could win, that'd be cool. Like, wouldn't it, wouldn't it just be cool if I could win? Defence, yeah. My defence just doesn't cost me a game for once. Shit, man. Where's my boy Kleiber? He's not even here. Kleiber, no, you're meant to have like very good defensive awareness and he's not even there. We're still all attacking on. Where was he? Veron was playing right back there. Yeah, it just is what it is, boys. This guy is pretty good. Like, this Garincha is giving me the fat fucking sausage, dicking me the whole game. It, it is what it is. I just haven't defended good enough, and this guy is clearly quite fucking good at exploiting my defensive indeficiencies. That's not a word, is it? Come on, lads. There's like a minute left. Like, can you just protect? Like, just be good at defending for a minute, please, to to make the suffering a little less. A little less. No, no, no. Why would I even ask such a thing for me to defend for a minute? Uh, just one minute would have been nice, so we didn't concede six. So, uh, yeah, that wasn't the best game, to be honest with you. We uh, we didn't play very good in that game, and that obviously doesn't look good on Kleiber. But, to be fair, I actually did really enjoy that Kleiber. I thought he was really, really good. He was very, very solid. The only real problem I had with him, and it was only really one instance, was uh, was his de his defensive, not his awareness, but his uh, he's high medium, you know? So, he does like to get up the pitch a bit, which, not really a fan of that. You know, I don't mind him getting up the pitch, but you've you got to get your ass back, you know? I, I, that's why I like high, high uh, defense uh, to fullback, so I much prefer that. So it was a little bit annoying to see that we ended up conceding uh, from the fact that obviously we had Veron playing at fullback at one point because Kleiber was just bombing up the field and he just did not get back in time. Aside from that though, he had a really, really good game. He's so fucking solid in terms of his like pace and his physical and just bullying defenders and stuff like that. He had really good defensive awareness for the most part of this game. 100% he is worth it. And obviously if he gets another upgrade, then he's going to be so overpowered. He's, he's quite similar to the Akuna card that come out the other day. He's like a right back version of that Akuna. And if he gets that upgrade, then he's He's gonna be he's gonna be pretty fucking good as for Malin lads He's very similar to the future stars that came out last year If you've used that future stars last year, he plays near identical to the way that card did He's not the best card in the game, but he's extremely overpowered Sweaty scores jammy goals makes things happen just by being AIDS as fuck He's he's literally like the Muriel's of the of of FIFA, you know He's one of those kind of cards. It's just overpowered if you're gonna choose between the two I would say Kleiber is definitely better like value for money 
Uh, obviously, they're completely different positions, but I would say that the Kleiber was 100% without a doubt worth it, whereas Malin, it's kind of an acquired taste. You know, you might not like this card, but if you like those easy jammy strikers, you need that green link to Robin on that side, you know, whatever. He's good. He is good, and I'd say he's still worth it, but Kleiber is much better value for money. But if you want to do both, I would recommend both. I think both of them are pretty good. Pretty good SBCs from EA, to be fair. But anyway, I'm just going to call it there. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, smash like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Peace.